we here in gulbarga in the northern part of karnataka and we are on campaign trail with bjp's karnataka president by vijendra this is his first election and it's going to be a challenging one given the kind of results his party saw in the 2023 assembly elections what is he doing differently why is the party so confident of repeating the performance of 2019 when they won 25 seats these are some of the questions that we will be posing to vijendra come join us in this journey So this is your first uh, uh, first election as the BJP party president. What are you doing differently? After I have been appointed as a party president, mm-hmm. the spirit of our cadres is very high. Mm-hmm. Everybody is in josh to ensure that Narendra Modi ji has to become prime minister for third term, and we should do our best from Karnataka to strengthen the hands of Narendra Modi ji. so the task is pretty clear not only for uh, me as the party president every cadres across the state uh, uh, they are uh, you know working for the party they are working to ensure a clear victory for our candidates so it, it's a uphill task it's a big challenge but we are enjoying what we are doing right. because the present congress government here in karnataka uh, the amount of mischiefs and uh, 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 wrong propaganda which they are trying to do in spite of that we are in a better position today and uh, our all our cadres are working hard what what is bjp's narrative for karnataka so narrative is pretty clear mm-hmm. the people of karnataka the voters of karnataka they are upset with the present congress government with so much of expectation this government was brought back to power 10 months before here in karnataka the current congress government mm-hmm. but today looking at the current law and land order situation development work has come completely come to stand still and the other hand and the other side the popularity of narendra modi ji as a prime minister because our prime minister narendra modi ji had delivered uh, whatever we have, we have promised in our manifesto and this is the talk of the town every people are recognizing that every house uh, has has been benefited every individual has been benefited not only in karnataka across the country so narendra modi ji's popularity and the task for bjp is we have to convert that popularity into votes and definitely modi ji's popularity is helping bjp mm. across country and also here in karnataka so many are asking last time you got 25 seats it's a very difficult task to repeat do you have a strategy during last assembly parliament elections mm. nobody dreamed that bjp is going to 20 Going to win 25 yeah. seats. In fact, Edi Rapaji was a party president. Max to max, we were expecting around 20, yeah. but we won 25. This time, Modi ji's popularity has uh, you know has gone to different heights. We were, I mean, compared to last Lok Sabha election, Modi ji popularity has gone to different heights because he has delivered what we have promised. Yeah. So. Uh, it's definitely across the state the mood is pretty clear and they're working in that direction right one kind of question there many people feel that uh, you know though the party got 25 uh, M- mps they didn't take the voice of the people of karnataka be it the tax devolution the decreasing share of karnataka which is now at 3.65 or even the drought relief which the court had to intervene yeah. what do you, how do you respond let yeah. me let me correct you madam as far as the mps are concerned mm-hmm. highest amount of development work has taken place under the leadership of all our mps mm-hmm. so now you know, as far as development is concerned people are happy secondly the present congress government is trying to build that narrative mm-hmm. that central government and modi ji government is against karnataka because they don't have uh, faith in their guarantee so called uh, famous guarantees which they claim they don't have confidence that they are going to come back to uh, they can't win lok sabha mps only based on their guarantee schemes hence they are trying to create this wrong narrative against our central government against our bjp and against our uh, modi ji but people are not fool as far as tax devolution is concerned our nirmala sitaraman ji our finance minister was here in karnataka was here in bangalore she did a press meet and uh, all the facts and figures is before the people of karnataka in fact in last 10 years under modi ji's uh, t- tenure more than 485000 crores has been dispersed to the state of karnataka 
even in terms of tax devolution, mm. highest amount has been uh, dispersed compared to our uh, UPA tenure. Mm. But unfortunately, since Congress government is not in a position to win Lok Sabha seats here in Karnataka, or since they are, it's not going as per their expectation, they are trying to build this wrong narrative. In case, in, in case of farmers also, let me tell you one thing, when BJP government was here in the state, when Yadiropa was chief minister, no, they, he did not wait for central government to release the funds. Because here Chidramaya ji, since he don't have money in the, in the state, uh, this thing, he is trying to put a blame on central government on Narendra Modi ji. But let me tell you one thing, is it not the responsibility of chief minister when the farmers are in distress, when farmers badly need support of the uh, state government during the drought, but this government has completely failed. They did not support farmers. In fact, they, Sidrama has said he is willing to spare 10,000 crores for the development of minorities. But when it comes to farmers, he is completely mum, he is completely keeping quiet. This shows the attitude of anti-farmer uh, uh, of, uh, of the Congress party and the present Congress government. So, but the drought really, the court intervened and then the centre uh, released it, the union government. Again, it's a narrative that's been uh, their Congress is trying to build. Let me tell you one thing. Nirmala Sitaramanji, just a month before the Supreme Court judgment came, a month before, Finance Minister clearly said, we already forwarded recommendation made by a committee and it's before election commission. We're just waiting for clearance from the election commission. But hurriedly, uh, Congress uh, party approached the Supreme Court and our central government and our uh, uh, concern minister never said that we are not going to release the drought amount. Mm. But let me ask the chief minister Sidramaya through you. When so many other states were uh, you know, facing the drought, no chief minister went to Delhi and uh, protested like uh, uh, how Karnataka did. So Karnataka government, Congress government, they are creating more and drama in Delhi. They are trying to build a wrong perception against the uh, central government. But as far as fund release is concerned during the drought, central government has taken that initiation. And it, it's quite natural that the time consumption is always there. If you compare with the Congress government, which was earlier in the center, when they were in the center, it in fact, it took more time to release uh, funds for uh, during the drought. But here, Congress government and Sidrama is unnecessarily creating this drama to, and trying to build wrong perception. See, uh, your father, Mr. Yadirappa, was a moderate BJP leader. He uh, stood for the rights of minorities, be it when they were, you know, Tablighi Jamaat uh, were uh, targeted. Or in an interview last year I did with him, he had said that he doesn't believe hijab, halal, such controversies should be election issues. Are you, as the state president, of uh, the same belief? Madam, we are going before the people of Karnataka, before voters, with a positive narrative. We are going before the people and explaining them how development work has taken place in last 10 years under the dynamic leadership of Mahatma Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Mm. Because schemes have reached every household here in Karnataka. People are enjoying the benefits. Every village is getting electricity. Every house who have been, no, no, no toilets, they have been provided toilets. Every house is getting safe water, safe drinking water. So, I mean, this is the situation here in, not only in Karnataka, other parts of the country also. So, we are going before the people with a positive narrative, with a positive agenda. As far as minority is concerned, BJP was never against minorities. Neither Edirapa ji nor Narendra Modi ji. So, what about triple talak then? If BJP were against minorities, then where is the question of, you know, abolishing the uh, uh, triple talak, which has been a curse for uh, women in the minority? Why did Congress, uh, the, why they hesitated to take such bold decision? If triple talaq has been abolished, it's only because of our dynamic Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Right. So, this case of uh, Prachal Revanna, uh, did BJP not know that such videos were in circulation in Hassan for almost a year because he took an injunction? And and also, uh, Dev Gowda, who is a BJP leader, has said that he's written to you, the party president and Mr. B.L. Santosh. Let me make it clear. As far as BJP is concerned, and our national leadership is concerned, nobody can support this yeah. incident. Yeah. Let me put it straight. Secondly, even I was reading the newspaper that Devraj has written a letter to Vijendra, party president, 
I'm not aware of this. Okay. I'm not aware of this. Unnecessary, I don't know why he has claimed that I have not received any such letters. I don't think even national leadership was aware of this uh, development. So it's very unfair and it's not correct to say that, you know, our high command was aware of this, state leadership was aware of this incident. If we were aware, then where is the question of uh, allowing him to contest elections? Right. Uh, but he is an NDA candidate now. Will you ask him to come back to India? Uh, because optics-wise, uh, you know, there are 2,900-odd videos and he's escaped the country. He's he's absconding currently. Will you put pressure on JDS to bring him back at least while the SIT probes are? JDS leadership has already initiated this process. In fact, they're expelling uh, uh, Prajwal Ravana from the party mm -hmm. and he's bound to come back. Mm -hmm. Because he has to... There is a, he has to face a situation, he has to answer so many questions that has been raised, he has to face the investigation, he can't just run away like this. I'm sure he will come back and uh, he has to uh, uh, face the investigation team. So otherwise, how is the uh, alliance with JDS going? Are things smooth? Are there uh, any issues on the ground? This is the most unfortunate and this thing should not have happened. Mm. Keeping this episode aside, yes. as far as BJP JDS is concerned, our cadres are working day and night mm. across the state in the interest of nation, in the interest of uh, Narendra Modi as Prime Minister for third consecutive tenure. So I don't think, I mean, it, now JDS has already initiated the action in this uh, particular issue mm. and uh, definitely not going to affect our alliance. Herself. And it didn't come to your notice till uh, now, uh, the videos that were circulated mm. in Hassan. BJP had not uh, uh, heard of it or definitely no. Okay. We are not. We are not. We are, we are kept in dark. We are not aware of these videos. Okay. Definitely, it's, uh, it's not correct to say that we are aware of the crime. Okay. Okay. So the murder of a young woman called uh, Neha Hiremat by a man called Fayas. This is a very tragic uh, incident, and it's a law and order problem. But is it right to communalize it and politicize it ahead of elections? BJP is not trying to communalize or politicize mm. the Neha murder issue. But the fact is, is it not the responsibility of a state government to act immediately with more responsibility? Mm. But here the Chief Minister and Home Minister, the statement of Chief Minister and Home Minister, it, it's really absurd because immediately after the murder, Chief Minister says, this murder has taken place due to some personal reasons. Yeah. And few photos were released mm -hmm. immediately, uh, much before investigation was started. So who has done this? Right. So, firstly, so it, it's nothing, I mean, I don't say I mean, it never happened before in other governments also. But, but the point which we are trying to say is, a responsible government should have acted more responsibly. Mm -hmm. It's not about Fayaz or anybody else here. Murderer is a murderer. Mm. So state government should have acted immediately. Culprit, the murderer should have been, you know, immediately take a, put behind bars. But government was so slow. And uh, uh, releasing photos, uh, so nonsensical statement by, by ministers, state ministers, has clearly given rise to many doubts. Mm. Because during one more incident, which I would like to remind you, when uh, Sidramayoji, in his first tenure as chief minister, his own Dalit MLA, some anti-social elements from particular minorities, they barred into his house. They, I mean, uh, you know, in, uh, Dalit the MLA. DJ Hali incident. DJ Hali incident. Even then, state government did not act because uh, they felt that minority will be upset mm -hmm. if they take action against the culprits. So this is a state of mind and state of affairs under the. Uh, Sidramaya government, this which BJP is opposing. So, but and you currently, even uh, in the incident where, you know, uh, sloganeering of Pakistan Jindabad inside Vidhan Sauda, even state government was so hesitant when we put, put too much pressure on the state government, only then they tried to act. So, this is the state of mind of, uh, you know, present Congress government and the Congress leadership, which BJP is opposing. You use measured language, but your party leaders are uh, calling it a love jihad incident and giving it more communal t uh, twist. Uh, what is it in your opinion? Madam, is it that, a law and order that issue? That doubt was arised 
because of the attitude of the Congress government, okay. because of the attitude statements of few ministers, because of the you know leakage of few photos uh, belonging to Neha. Mm -hmm. So definitely this raised a few questions and uh, uh, girl father himself has said it's a Lao Jihad case, not BJP. Okay. Uh, but sir, this year itself in 2024, there have been four such murders where women have been killed by their stalkers. As a woman, it's a very disturbing trend for us to see in Karnataka. Why did the BJP not take up those murders? Because the perpetrator and the accused religion was different. It was not a Muslim man killing a Hindu woman. See, every issue has been taken up by BJP. Mm -hmm. Even in Belgaum, mm -hmm. when uh, yes, uh, when uh, well, unseen incident happened with a ST scheduled tribe lady, mm -hmm. even then BJP took up this issue. In fact, Chief Minister he himself was there with the uh, assembly session was going on in Belgaum, mm -hmm. just two kilometers away. This incident happened. They did not uh, go and uh, meet that lady. They did not come to the rescue of that lady. Mm -hmm. But Bharatiya Janata Party took up this issue. We never discriminate uh, based on religion. We have, have Bharatiya Janata Party has taken up every issue which is uh, concerning the safety of women here in Karnataka. Right. Uh, one last question on the minority issue, sir. Uh, Prime Minister himself has been saying that the Sidramaya government has been uh, took away the reservation that was meant for OBCs and given it to uh, Muslims. Uh, isn't that untrue? Because this was uh, a government order that was passed in. 1994, the two-week category where the Muslims are currently. And at that time, in fact, uh, Devi Gowda, your ally currently, was the chief minister. So isn't this uh, uh, misinformation being spread? It's not been misinformation. This present government under the leadership of Sidra Mayaji, mm -hmm. his initiator. Mm -hmm. Of course, during uh, two th I mean, uh, earlier in, during Devi Gowda's tenure also, he, it was he who was given that reservation. But now, giving reservation for minorities among OBC. That means you are doing injustice to other OBC community. If you really want to give reservation, you, you work out other strategies. Why do you want to uh, create trouble and uh, do injustice to with other OBC community? This is a question which BJP is asking today. But the Congress says they have not made any changes to the reservation. They are in doing, the, it is in the process. Okay. Chief Minister Sidramaya has written a letter to the central government. Uh, with the uh, backward class commission. Mm -hmm. Based on that, Prime Minister has made a comment. Okay. okay. So, my last question to you. Uh, you came in, you brought in a lot of changes. You have brought in many new candidates, many fresh faces. What was the strategy there? And are you hopeful that uh, any anti incumbency that was there will be uh, addressed through this? It was not a decision taken by state BJP mm -hmm. nor Vijayendra. Our party leadership, Central High Command, there are different parameters based on which candidates were chosen. Survey was carried out, inputs was taken by uh, cadres directly uh, under uh, Namo app. And there are different parameters based on which Delhi has taken a call. Of course, we as a party president, we had sent uh, observers to every Lok Sabha constituencies and we had to pick three uh, names mm -hmm. and everything was sent to Delhi. And based on the survey and other par this thing, party high command has taken decision. So it's unfair to say that you know Vijendra has changed the candidates and Vijendra and Edirapa has found as the candidate. It's very it's now it's far away from the fact. Mm -hmm. Whatever uh, we have recommended and based on inputs, Delhi has taken a final decision. Okay, what's your final number? I don't find one constituency in Karnataka out of twenty-eight where we can say no, we are not going to win. Mm -hmm. Every Lok Sabha constituency mood is in favor of Narendra Modi ji, in favor of Bharat Janata Party. Definitely, I am hoping for one of the best performance because last time we had won 25 seats, mm -hmm. we will definitely will perform much better. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. This election season, your right to choose puts you at the heart of it again. We'd like to be your eyes and ears. Choose the journalism and media that serves democracy and you. Simply log on to newslaundry.com slash 2024 election fund and choose an amount of your choice for the reports of your choice.